In this video, we'll walk you through how to define topics and agent actions while you're designing your API with the help of MuleSoft's Topic Center. And also synchronize your API with the help of Salesforce API Catalog and further invoke them via agents. So here we want to bring in reservation data into Salesforce. So let's go ahead and ask the agent about it by asking it a prompt, get the reservation for a customer. And as you can see, the agent is now analyzing the request and figuring out the next steps. An agent is not able to answer the question. That's because it does not have access to the data. So let's change that. Here we are in MuleSoft's AnyPoint Code Builder, MuleSoft's newest IDE, using which you can design, implement, and develop an integrations. But first, let's go ahead and select the checkbox that enables agent topics and actions, and then go ahead and create a new project. Let's go ahead and enter in the project name and the other details and create a new API specifications. Once your project is set up, you can define your API specification, providing all the necessary information about your topics, your in instructions, agent action, the scope of your agent. You can also go ahead and make use of the AI component to add in new topic details. And once this is complete, you can further go ahead and publish your API to any point exchange. Once this is done, you'll go ahead and implement the API to build a Mule application. And you can further implement the logics, add in transformation logic, and go ahead and deploy your API to cloud up. So make sure that your API is live on the runtime manager after it's been deployed to cloud up. You can also ensure different logs, statistics here. Once it is done, you can further go ahead and create an API instance using Mule Gateway using the API manager capabilities. Here you can also define in different policies, contract, SLA tiers, governance report, basically manage your Mule application here or non-Mule application as well. Once this is completed, you can go ahead into API catalog. Here you can get a consolidated view of all your APIs, not just MuleSoft APIs, but Salesforce and Hedeco API. So locate the API you just imported and synchronize from any point exchange. All you need to do is go ahead and activate the API to enable the agent actions. Let's do this by adding in the descriptions, destination URL, and selecting the API instance. Further, we'll go ahead and create a new connection. And while it's creating a new connection, you can also see in the back end, it's also creating main credentials, external services for you. Let's go ahead and assign in permissions to our users. So go ahead and manage assignments and add in our user, Epic Org Farm, that is the username as a new user. And once it is done, we have created the permission sets. So yeah, if you're doing it for the first time, you might have to still do it. Once it is done, you can just go ahead and activate the actions and they are ready to be invoked using agents or flow. So let's go ahead and invoke them via agents by going into our agent builder. So here we are in agent builder and we have already imported the assets using the asset library. And as you can see, the topics, the actions that we have configured in any point code builder are now being reflected here. Now let's go ahead and test them out by asking agent the same prompt again about the reservation detail for a customer with the ID. And now if you can see the agent is able to answer the question because it had access to the data and behind the scene it's actually fetching the information using the MuleSoft API. So in this video, we've learned how to define topics and instructions while you're designing your APIs using MuleSoft Topic Center and further implemented them using the capabilities of AnyPoint Code Builder.
We have then synchronized and imported our Muli APIs using the API catalog and further invoked them via agents.